Good afternoon, this is Dr. Moses, and I will be going over the rotational motion lab with you. The objective is to determine the moment of inertia of a solid disk by plotting measured values of torque versus angular acceleration. This is what the initial Excel worksheet will look like before you enter your data. You will enter the distance, that's the distance from the floor to the top of the pulley, and then your times that you will record as your masses fall. If you notice on the sheet, you will try at mass 50 grams, which is 0 0.050 kilograms, and you will time that drop three times. Then you'll do the same thing for 100 grams, then the same thing for 150 grams, the same for 250 and 200. Once you enter your data, this is what the sheet looks like initially, your sheet will then fill automatically to give you the following similar values. You'll see a linear slope which will be your moment of inertia. In your table, you'll see the radius squared, and you know the equation for a solid disk is one half m r squared. You have your y-intercept and your potential difference. So we're gonna move over to our rotation lab. This looks like a horizontal Atwoods machine. So here is your solid disc. The string is wrapped around the very lowest level. It's attached to a pulley with a mass hanger. So basically what you will do Someone in your group will record the time. I'm going to just wind this back up. Someone else will hang the masses. And don't forget to measure from the bottom of the floor to the top of your pulley with your meter stick. So you wanna take a measurement right around here. So I measure approximately 104 centimeters, which you're going to record on your table as one point zero four meters so now I'm going to add let's say let's add a hundred and fifty grams So I've added 150 grams to my mass hanger. Then when I release it, someone in your group will start your timer. Immediately when I release it, starting now. And you wanna wait until that mass hits the floor. And that's when you stop your timer. So you do that three times for each mass to be determined on your Excel sheet. Once you have all of your data, go back to your Excel sheet. 
and this is what the final product should look like. So here you have the height from the floor to the top of your pulley and the times recorded for the different masses. Then you'll see that in your calculation table, your fields populated for mass, linear calculations, attention, angular acceleration, and torque. Then you have a table showing you your slope. Your slope is actually your moment of inertia. And your radius squared is given after you've input your data. And your final information is given as well. Then you want to go to your worksheet. And you'll answer your simple questions. One, if R sub 1 equals 0 0.150 meters and M sub 1 equals 4.450 kilograms, then what is I sub 1? So you simply plug and chug. You know that the equation for a solid disk is 1 half mR squared. So you plug in your information and you receive your rotational inertia for question number one. Most of the questions are like that. When you've finished, you've completed your lab. Have fun.